Ella, Ella, Ella. Ma, Ma. Come eat breakfast. Yes, sure. You wasted your time with that stupid DNA test. I could have told you that Melody isn't Shen's sister. Why didn't you tell me about it? I'm not sure if telling you would have made any difference. You only know what Shen tells you. And if Shen doesn't know, how would you know? And I think Yang should reach out to his Don't family. Don't force it, Matthew. And neither Shen or Yang are ready. Did Shen tell you what happened between him and his family? All I know is his sister was sick. His mother didn't take it very well. Whatever you're planning, don't. Especially because I'm the one who has to deal with the potential fallout. Thanks for calling. I gotta go. That was handsome. Guess what? Ella's getting discharged today. That girl must have racked up a hell of a hospital bill. Hope her staycation was worth it. And I'm sure they wouldn't have discharged her unless the doctors felt she no longer poses a risk to herself. Histrionics. That's what it was. And I'm sure her family will be eager to see her again. I'm late. I better get to work. And what about you, Dad? You think Ella is just... Don't you have anything better to do than sit around and gossip like a schoolgirl? Ka, I have to show you this. One of the nurses has a huge following on social media and she posted a picture of your hawker hottie store. See? This is great for his business. Wow. He's practically surrounded by women in that pic. Lucky guy. Hey, don't be gross, Abang. Why so quiet? Scared that Harris will run off with some nurse or what? Harris and I are no longer seeing each other anymore. When? Last night. I'm sorry to hear that, Kak. I guess on the plus side, you don't need to worry that he wants children anymore. It's the truth. How handsome. Are you happy Ella is coming home? Yay! Uh, did she even say she's coming home or not? Of course she's coming home. She says so. Right, handsome? I think so. I can't remember. All those messages that you sent her while she was in hospital, did she reply any of them? Probably she's too busy to reply. Uh, we only know she's leaving the hospital, right? No shop talk, I promise. Just wanted to check in, see how you're doing. The newly minted CEO. Good. A reminder, though, just because you put me up for the job doesn't mean I'm obligated to keep you updated on KSUH matters. Noted. It's just coffee. So how are things? Well, it helps that I know most of the management pretty well, mm. their working styles and all. A lot of them have been around as long as I have. Especially in the KS Foundation. Some of those old fogies are really ancient. I think majority of them are younger than you, Derek. Speaking of the KS Foundation, what are Boss Lady's plans now that they've committed to making full use of the Social Enterprise Funding? So that's what this is about. What? Why am I not surprised? I just want to find out if my favorite hangout is going to become some unrecognizable corporate behemoth. Look, Derek, if you want to know what Maywan and Handsome's plans for Boss Lady are, you should ask them yourself, all right? I'm sure she'll be moving back in with you all. I mean, where would she go otherwise? But is that what she said? She didn't specifically say. I guess I assume she would. She had money in her mind, you see. She's been quite concerned with the cost of it all. And... Huh. So she's leaving because of that? No, 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 no. Uh, the doctor's clear for discharge. No questions about that. Uh, yeah, I should have made those stupid Shelleys uh, pay for her treatment. 
Then Ella won't have to worry. After everything the Shelleys have done, I'm not sure that's the best thing for Ella either. To have that hanging over her. How come she hasn't called us yet? We can go and pick her, you know? I'm sorry she hasn't contacted you. But she'll be home soon. So apparently we got the results back after Madame Hua's phlebotomy. Madame Hua's lobotomy? <laughs> yes, Doctor. We cut out part of Madame Hua's brain in an obsolete, dangerous psychosurgical procedure that hasn't been used since the 50s. <laughs> I said phlebotomy. I know, okay? Why can't you just say blood test like a normal person? Because I like the word phlebotomy. And clearly, you like the word lobotomy. He's called the main office line about five times. That man really doesn't know how to take a hint, does he? You may want to call him back. Let's get one thing clear, Sherman. Derek Shelley is nothing but a bored retiree desperately in need of a hobby. Oh, so he threatened me if I didn't pass on his message. He says it's important. <laughs> no call from Derek Shelley to this office will ever be important. I don't have time for his antics. But... And don't listen to him. That man can't do anything to you as long as I'm in charge. Got it? Hey. What time are you checking out today? Actually, I already left. Oh? Your mom and Handsome are pretty anxious to see you. Yeah, I, I figured. Uh, you know where to find them? At the Taoway store? I don't know, Adam. Um, I think I need more time. Time? To do what? Hello? Ella? about Zabotomy. <laughs> that can be the name for your new procedure. Yeah, yeah, just get it out of your system. Of course, it'll also make a great name for your future clinic, or even just for yourself. <laughs> What's so funny? <clears throat> Nurse Jenny, I'm pleased to introduce you to Dr. Zabotomy, pioneer of the Zabotomy procedure and uh, head of surgeries at the Zabotomy clinic. Yes, Ashraf, it's hilarious. <laughs> Okay, what exactly is a zabotomy? Oh, it's very simple. It's a type of lobotomy, but performed by Dr. Zarif himself. Aren't those illegal or something? I don't know, Dr. Zabotomy. Aren't they? Heading out for lunch? Yep, I was actually thinking of going back to Harry's store. I really enjoyed the soto ayam and I want to try the... Akaros and him broke up, by the way. I guess after he was declared a hawker hottie, all the attention got to his head. That is not cool. You know what? I've changed my mind. I don't need to try his gado gado. How about a zabotomy instead? <laughs> Come on. You know, reaching out to Shen's family... Look, I don't want to talk about this, okay? This is the perfect opportunity to do what we talked about. You should just face your fears, sort it out once and for all. Uh, easy for you to say, you're not the one with the screwed up family. My family is pretty screwed up. My dad actually bought my mom a kidney and went to jail for yes, it. Yes, but your mom never... What did your mom do? Forget it. Okay, I get it. You don't want to see your mom. Then what about your brother? Look, Shen cut them all out of his life for a reason. Who knows, after all these years, maybe things will be different. Maybe your brother has changed. You have no idea what these people are like. Yeah, I'm only suggesting it because I can see how much it affects you. Don't you want to stop feeling this way? I'm sure Shen does as well. This is the last time I'm telling you nicely. Back off. Dr. Shen! Oh, um, hi. Let's go in and talk. Just calling to check in. After yesterday, you're still there to call me, is it? Is it? The old man Derek Shelley. Don't bother about him, huh? So, what's new, May Wan? Ayah, what's new? Uh, what are you talking about? Anything interesting happened today, like uh, someone coming home? Don't waste time, just hang up the phone. I thought maybe. Ayah, I'm very busy, you know. I've got a lot of things to do. If you are bored, then call one of your children. 
Oh yeah, none of your children wants to talk to you. Hey. Did you manage to talk to Ella? Oh yeah, not yet. Since the day she went to the hospital all the way until now. No sound, no picture. Eh? I also don't know what time she's coming back. She never said anything. She's in my restaurant now. I just saw her going in. She didn't come here and say hello to us. Hawk, oh, uh, you are right. She doesn't want to stay with us anymore. Auntie Miwan, I promise that's not the case, okay? How do you know? Because Ella called me just now. I don't know why I didn't go straight to the store. Like, what do I even say? You could start with a high. I guess I kind of panicked. Ella, they're our family. What's there to be afraid of? I guess I feel bad because I never treated them that way. Even though they accepted me from the start, no matter how screwed up I got or how badly I treated them. That's kind of the rule, isn't it? No matter what you've done or how you've been, your family will always accept and love you regardless. And God knows how much they owe Olivia from a medical bill. If there's one thing I know about your mother and brothers, I'm sure they don't care anything about that. What's important is that you're safe, you're well, and you go home. You sure? Positive. Excuse me, who let you in here? Security guy knows I'm family. Come on. Please, what's that weasel gonna do? Drag me out of here? Whatever you have to say, make it quick, Derek. So what are you working on these days? That is confidential KSUH business. What's going on with you today? First you drag me to your place to ask me about boss lady and then you come in here for no good reason. Why can't I ask about boss lady? Why are people so suspicious when I ask how they're doing? It's Ella, isn't it? What? What's she got to do with anything? Oh, you clearly don't know what to do with yourself. If you're so worried about Ella, why don't you go to boss lady and look for her or something? You don't know what you're talking about. What do you feel? Guilt, maybe? About how things turned out with Jeffrey? Or perhaps you feel there's something more you could have done. You think you got me all figured out, don't you? You're an open book, Derek. You should go say hello to her. I'm sure she'd appreciate it. <laughs> Ella. Guess I got back to work. Welcome home! <laughs> oh. They take care of you? Yeah, I'm fine. Ma clean your room for you already. Yeah, why do you take so long to come back here? Ah, yeah, never mind. It's okay. The most important thing that is still are back. Dr. Adams said that you were worried about the hospital payment. Don't be. If you need to stay longer, just let me know. Money is not an issue. I can sell the shop. No, don't. I'm fine, really. But I did a lot of reflection in the hospital and... I'm sorry, handsome. I won't be working here anymore. I've decided that I want to help others, like how my therapist helped me. I want to study psychology. Go back to school? Yeah, but I'll be paying for it in my own way. That's why I'll be working at Adina's. It was actually Zara's idea. And I've spoken to Rosnani earlier already. I'm starting on Monday. That's fast. Yeah. Why wait? It's good to get into a new routine. You can tell me anything. It's okay. Take your time. Enjoy your coffee. Thank you. 
I just feel like a terrible person. They've given up so much for me since the start, but I just keep pushing them away. In a way, I feel like I might actually feel better if they hated me a little. Is that weird? No, of course not. But I can tell you for sure, they are not going to hate you. They never will. You're the second person to tell me that today. Then I must be right. I know growing up with the Shelleys, things must have been quite different. I guess I'm not used to people caring. She's your mother. Of course she cares. People my generation sometimes don't like to say or don't dare to say. So you must look at her actions, not her words. Go. Thanks for the coffee and for the talk. You're welcome. Is there enough for one more? Ah, yes, yes. Of course, I always buy plenty. Come sit, sit. Next time, if you said you must tell me. Okay? Permish? Okay. Calm, enough talking, let's see. Hasn't we give a lot of chicken backs, right? Especially bought a part for her. She's been discharged, you know? I am aware. So are you planning to pay a visit? Not sure if I should. I tried to make amends for kicking Ella out of the family by getting involved with Citrinium. A lot of good that did. Well, she's been given the all clear from the hospital. And she's recovered, I suppose. You know, maybe the best thing we Shelleys can do for Ella is just to leave her alone. Last thing she needs is for us to undo everything. I don't know. Just let her live her life for once. You might be right. I know I am. Don't let Ma hear this. I'll make sure those Shelleys pay for the way they treated you. No, Hulk, please don't. I don't want that. I work very hard to put my past behind me. And all I want to do is to move on with my life. You should try and do the same. Can you talk? I'm in between surgeries right now. I'm just about to go and scrub in. I've got a few minutes though. What's up? Oh, nothing. Is everything okay? Yeah. You should go. I'll catch you another time. Take care. Bye. Why? The bed not comfortable, ah? No, I just wanted to sleep out here. What are you doing? Hiya. If you are going to sleep out here, I'm going to sleep with you, whether you like it or not. You mean you didn't see Dr. Asha's post on social media? Seriously? I don't know why he just can't let it go. Yeah, look. Doctor, doctor! Yes? The results for the patient's phlebotomy are in. The patient's... lobotomy? <gasps> Sorry.
I told you you should have taken the car. Uh, it's okay. This alarm is very comfortable. Why? Cannot sleep, ah? Why don't you hate me? I will never hate you. Ever since I moved in, I have been nothing but trouble. I am entitled, ungrateful, rude. I'm a terrible daughter. Don't say that. Everybody tells me not to be afraid to accept help. My therapist, Adam, even Adina, they all said the same thing. But I feel like all I do is take and I have nothing to give. Who says you are an independent girl? That's why you didn't like to work at the shop. Because you like to do your own thing. I'm sorry, I'm such a screw-up. I know you did your best, but it's not easy. I know you cannot take it anymore. That's why you needed help. But it's okay to need help. I guess I believe that. But after coming back, I'm not sure. Ella, you are my daughter. And I'm your mother. For once in your life, let me take care of you, okay? Thank you, my mm one. -hmm. Can you help me pass her a message? I need to cancel my 10 o'clock later. I've got plans with Madeline. Okay. And how's things going for the two of you, by the way? Uh, we're taking it slow, but things are going well. We're enjoying trying to get to know each other better. That's great. Happy for you guys. Yeah, but the problem is she wants to meet at Adina's. Hope it doesn't get too awkward. Oh, because um, of Ella, I'm guessing. I hear she's working there now. Yeah, she is. The last proper conversation we had before she, you know, was pretty heated. <laughs>